This is Jade Nunes for New Day Review reporting from the CFE Arena where the UCF men's basketball team just defeated Gardner-Webb 68-65. With UCF holding a narrow 31-28 lead at halftime, Dayon Griffin opened a 18-3 UCF run midway through the second half to give the Knights a 12-point lead, the largest of the game. However, with two minutes left in the game, Gardner Webb's DJ Lasser three-pointer, followed by David Effiani three-pointer, made it a 63-58 game. One possession later, running Bulldogs guard Liam O'Reilly started his own 7-1 run, including a layup, two free throws, and three-pointer to pull up Gardner Webb within a one-point difference with just 30 seconds to go. And free throws were definitely a big part of tonight's game for the Knights as UCF went 28 for 40 as six of their nine players went to the line. Forward Chad Brown, who shot 62% from the line last year, was instrumental in the Knights' free throw shooting as he went 8 for 10 from the line. So, you know, I, I really worked on that in the offseason. And, um, you know, every day before and after practice, I shoot 50 free throws. And, um, you know, it's paying off. And uh, today I was 8 for 10. I wouldn't be 10 for 10, but, you know, 8 for 10. So that's all right. But, you know, that's, um, that's what I worked on in the offseason. So. With guard B.J. Taylor out for the next four to six weeks due to a foot injury, Coach Dawkins shares what players he expects to see step up and make those shots. You know, there are guys that I believe in in our system. You know, our system, I think, works for, for the guys to find their shots within what we do. But then when you want to go to shots, you know, Caesar, we couldn't go to the day. I believe Caesar's a capable player, especially, you know, one-on-one, -on -one, off the bounce. You know, I put him up with any guards that we play against at, at being able to get to the basket, creating for himself or his teammate. But we didn't have him tonight, so that was a, that was a missing piece down the stretch. Uh, Chance is a score. You know, Chance can Chance finds his way to the basket and finishes. He also is capable of knocking down an open shot. So that gives us another player that's capable of doing that from the perimeter spot. And then Dayon, of course, because he gets such range on the shot. He's very similar to Matt to me. He didn't knock down a lot of threes today, but very similar. Really good range on the shot. Confident shooter, and he's going to be—he's going to end up, you know, you know, having some unbelievable nights for us. It's just a matter of time for him. And then, of course, AJ is uh, the senior, and he's our leader. And we went to him late tonight, and uh, unfortunately, you know, we didn't execute the play as well. But that's, and he ended up turning it over. But that was through no fault of his. You uh, know, we didn't execute it well, and uh, something we'll clean up going forward. But you know, I felt if he had gotten the ball in that situation, he's capable of making a, a winning play as well. The Knights will play next William & Mary this Saturday at 2 p.m. right here at CFE Arena. For New Day Review, this is Jade Nunes.